Hi, I'm Dusty Gibbs with Gibbs Garden Center. And if you watched our previous videos, you know we talk a lot about mixed containers and hanging baskets. But there's also something to be said for just a solid colored hanging baskets. Now this is a Vista Bubblegum hanging basket, and it's actually a young basket. This basket will get really, really huge. And if you're looking for something that's really just a show stopper, really eye-catching, this is a terrific uh, combination that you can use. It's not much of a combination, it's all the same thing. And another thing is you save a little money with this because you don't have to use as many plants. This variety of super tunia, which is the Vista Bubblegum, is one of the most aggressive in the line of any of the petunias that we've, had, that we've dealt with. So we'll only use four plants for this particular hanging basket. Now what we've got here is a 16 inch Cocoa Moss Ostrom hanging basket. Also, I've already got my Bacto potting soil in there. We're also going to use an ounce of the Fertilone Premium Bedding Plant Food. Now we're not just going to leaf it on the surface, we're going to incorporate that into the soil, just mix it in. And like I said, we're only going to use four of these plants. They're very, very aggressive and they get really, really large. And we're just going to plant them just like a square in there. All right, as you're planting these plants, you want your, the surface of your soil to be about one inch below the surface of your uh, container that you're using. So the top of your dirt line on the uh, plants that you're planting, that's what they need to be, about one inch. So if you've not got enough soil in there, that's fine. Just place them in there and let them stick out of the soil a little bit. And then it's always a good idea to have you an extra basket or container around it. Well, if you've got too much dirt in there, you can take some out. Or if you need to add some, you've got it to add back. But like I said, we're only going to use four plants for this container. And you're going to be surprised at how big it gets because that, it will get three times the size that that basket is now. The only ones we've got right now are really, really young. All right, now these are very heavy feeders. So in addition to using the Fertilone bedding plant food, we're also going to use some Osmocote. Now this is a time-release pelleted prill. And we're going to use three tablespoons. And it'll have a spoon in there with it, but three tablespoons is what you're looking for. And if you read on it, it's going to tell you it lasts three to four months. But that's based on the temperature of being around 80 degrees. And here in the south, our summers don't stay at 80 degrees. So our experience with it is it's going to last about two months. So you're going to want to reapply the Osmocote after about two months. Also, in addition to the Fertilone bedding plant food and the Osmocote, you're going to want to use a water-soluble fertilizer every seven to ten days if you want these type of results. So that's pretty much all there is to it. We surely do appreciate you tuning in, and if we can ever help you with anything, please let us know. You can keep up with us on our Facebook page, follow us on Instagram, keep a check on our YouTube uh, channel for upcoming videos. You can also check out our website at gibbsgardencenter.com.